if you are up for new experiences, this is the place to be. We are taking you all over the urban jungle to discover pockets of serenity and novelty. Soothe your soul in a space that pays tribute to local talent in the realm of arts and performances. No need to battle Manila traffic to shop for your home. We discover an online shopping site that promises a wealth of choice pieces. Health and wellness take a high-tech turn with treatments that promise vitality and increased energy. Fill your creative well with design hubs that meld innovation and functionality. Let's step outside and explore our city. I'm Bianca. And I'm Stephanie. Discover the very best of modern living. Art is an expression of our thoughts, emotions, and desires, the communication of concepts that cannot be faithfully portrayed by words alone. And because words are not enough, artists seek other vehicles to carry out their intent. The Gallery at Pineapple Lab is an incubator of such artistic expression, reflecting the Philippines' evolving contemporary visual art scene. Pineapple Lab is a creative hub here in Poblacion, Makati. Basically, we are a year-round venue that provides a platform and a safe space for a lot of our local artists to be able to showcase their work, any level of development, and also to, to strengthen their networks in, in the local contemporary art scene of Manila. Pineapple Lab started in 2015. Through the networks that we've had previously because of Fringe Manila, we were able to program it with artists from different genres, you know, music, theater, spoken word, dance. And, and from then on, we started developing our own program to address the needs of the artists who needed a venue to express themselves and also to develop audiences for the types of work that they do. Pineapple Lab is also known for its special attention to programs for the LGBTQ community with regular events like Gayborhood Night and Juicy Fruits Film Fiesta. To continue fostering new artists, the Lab launched its Artists in Residence program, which offers artists at different levels of development a space to hone their skills and create their pieces. I feel like when you ask an artist, what they need the most, it is space. Given that Pineapple Lab is, uh, is an artist-run safe space, we know the value of square footage. As an artist, I think the most important or valuable tool is space. The artist in residence, it, it's literally a home for artists. A home being a, a place to create, a, a place to make mistakes, a safe space to just experiment, where you can uh, also network with peers and uh, get, get mentoring, uh, feedback on your work. So it's really important for us to be involved and recognize the process, and that means so much for us to see that growth and the trajectory where their, uh, their work blossoms. One of Pineapple Lab's artists in residence program is contemporary choreographer and dancer Ea Torado. Ea is also the artistic director of the Daloy Dance Company, which melds dance, theater, and improvisation. I started out in ballet since I was seven years old, and it was a big shift for me ten years ago when I said I'm gonna hang my point shoes. I don't want to do um, these things anymore, and I want to do my own work. I wanted to explore what it really means to be in my body um, versus copying a certain ideal form, which is beautiful, but the shift was really wanting to accept myself and know myself and draw from my own history as a woman, as a Filipina, as a body who has so much history of, of a certain kind of dance and wanted to venture out into theater or physical theater or contact improvisation. One of A.S. pieces, Wailing Women, was developed while she was an artist in residence at Pineapple Lab last year. Wailing Women started off with Aya giving movement workshops as a form of therapy and healing. I gave these workshops to women family members of extrajudicial killings in the Philippines drug war. It is a combination of natural movements, of gestures, of, of snippets from the news, stories that are told and retold. 
Wailing Women is a continuation of Aya's investigation of grief expressed through indignant narratives. For her latest artist in residency program with Pineapple Lab, Aya is presenting a work called Brown Madonna, which she started in New York last year under the Asian Cultural Council grant. I'm really excited. I really want to do this yeah, for this festival, but I don't have space. <laughs> I don't have a venue. So, um, yeah, for a dancer like me, it's so important to have space for rehearsals, for creating. It's a four part series of workshops wherein I'm exploring electronic dance music and um, exploring ideas I have for Brown Madonna. And yeah, the workshops are going to be happening here. And that workshop is, is part of the creative process that I have for the piece. I was thinking a lot about identity. I have the same birthday as Madonna. <laughs> but, but apart from that, I've I've never met my biological father. He left when, uh, you know, after I was christened, and so I have his last name. And so there's always that looking for an absentee male figure, whether it's in the form of my father or a husband. First I was so inspired by Madonna songs as well, and how I thought that a lot of her songs are very rich with, um, with political commentary, especially on the patriarchy. And so I'm exploring this new idea of a performance that is a rock concert setting of a Filipina who's trying to be the other from, you know, looking at, looking and mimicking the other in order to find herself and at the same time contending with that absentee male figure that needs to be found. A.S. pieces vary from the simple to the complex. An intangible form of communication and expression that showcases creative skill and imagination. And it is this quality of artistic commitment that Pineapple Lab hopes to develop and showcase. At the end of the day, the, these artists create work that become time capsules that reflect the, the current socioeconomic ecosystem that we live in. And that's something that should be told and that's something that audiences should be able to, to see, um, hear, or feel. Up next, step up your home improvement with design ideas from a one-stop online destination.